Good day everyone. I am in Bangkok for more than 6 months approximately. So this video is going to be about the things that you should bring to Bangkok or Thailand if you are coming from India from a longer term. Like if you have a job here or the more than 3 months you are planning to stay here. So there are some things which you are gonna need it if you are not going to cook then that's fine if you are going to cook so it's okay. So. This video I'm going to divide into two sections. First is the optional stuffs, and second is the non-optional stuffs. Which is like uh, if you want, you can uh, watch the video according to the timestamp as per your needs. So just starting it. Here are the essential items which I would like you guys to bring from India if you're coming to Bangkok for the longer term. And first is the pressure cooker. Make sure it's the induction with induction support. <laughs> And uh, the mid if it's not available, so like how what I did uh, initially, I came without the pressure cooker. Then someone else came from yeah, Mumbai, and awesome. then uh, I ordered that, and then able to do it. And here also online, it's available. But uh, the pressure cooker online, it was difficult to buy it because uh, it was in Thai, and taking snapshot and converting it to lens to translate the language was difficult. It, it didn't show that it's induction based or not. Then online delivery and the delivery time then returning back if it's not a correct one that's why i didn't choose that option so alternate to that which i first found is a rice cooker which looks like this you just put the rice and water in this and this button and with the help of the cord you can plug it and then you can make rice immediately in it it doesn't take much time but you have to be very careful with it otherwise it will get burned so you have to stir it at proper intervals stand over there uh, it's very quick so i even tried to make dal in it but it takes more time and i think a lot of electricity is also consumed and uh, the cord which they have given is this one it's a three pin cord three pin cord so here all the ports it will not it was not fitting it properly so make sure you come with the travel charger or even if you don't come with the travel charger it's available on amazon the one which i have purchased before coming here also it's available the places are there electronics areas where you can find them so this is the travel charger and it comes very helpful to charging your cell phone laptops and such stuffs like iron because if you are bringing it so uh, this is how i used it and it's very useful it's not only supports Europe, Asia and uh, many other also yeah this one is for US, Japan, Australia, Thai and uh, this one is for Europe so make sure you bring it keep it in your bag because the essentials the appliances which you are bringing electrical might not fit into the socket and that's why this will be very helpful so please make sure you add this to your list now if you are going to cook so i think always you cannot rely on uh, eating food outside because someday you might need your own food so when if you are a roti or the paratha kind of person like me definitely you need a proper uh, i'm not sure what do we call this in english uh, i we, i prefer to call it belen or uh, uh, maybe roti paratha roller the pizza roller which you buy so thing is this is available in thailand but it's very thick in size they use it for the pizza dough to make it so uh, that was not a fit for my requirement so i prefer to bring it so this is very useful uh, make sure you bring it and the other thing is on the we call it that uh, what do we call it? I, again i forgot what do we call it in english the chakla we call it on which we roll the paratha or the roti i don't I didn't get it and it's okay I just didn't don't want much stuff to bring so the chopping board you can use it suppose this is my chopping board so on this I use it to make my paratha roti which is very time saving and that is multi-purpose to use the vegetables to cut them and uh, also to make a uh, Rotis and paratas on that, and of course uh, you need uh, this pressure stuff. I again I don't know what is it called. Please comment if you guys know. 
to put the pressure so that it's cooked from all the sides or else if you don't have this you can uh, it's optional um, and if you don't have it you can use a cloth put pressure on that make sure you protect your fingers because the injection pan you might touch the corner of your fingers and it might get burnt so be careful with that another option if you are you need you'll be needing a and if you need to have tea or you want to grind something like a uh, masala on sorry garlic or ginger for tea not garlic for tea garlic for your food ginger for your tea so make sure you bring this in which you crush it easily i didn't had it so the thing is for alternative i searched for some stone on outside so that i can crush it with that but uh, in bangkok i didn't find any stone on the way use as usual i went to the park also but no proper stone was found so that i can crush it so someone came with along with pressure cooker i ordered the pestrel i think we call it i don't know like this so it's very helpful for your ginger for your tea or uh, any other spice small you want to come up with your yes. spice box masala dabba you can say masala box masala box it comes very useful because uh, if it's not there then you're going to end up taking a lot of time in packing and unpacking the packets with rubber band keeping it properly so it's a time saver so this is must time saving for you if you're going to cook on a regular basis so when the spice box was not there so i realized i figured out another way small plastic containers i am not a big fan of plastic so i used to put all the spices in the small boxes and keep it ready so whenever i cook do it fast but the thing is you open and close it and then it takes a lot of space to keep it so better to bring that spice box where everywhere ev- all the essential spices are there uh, in the single container third is keep stock of spices because here spices are bit indian spices are expensive like 35 baht for 100 grams as i was saying keep spices in handy for the whole year or 6 months or more than that because it's not going to get spoiled you can keep in stock because here it's expensive 35 baht for 100 gram and 35 baht if you calculate in inr as per the rate keeps on changing so it will be more than 70 75 for 100 gram so it's not too much expensive if you prefer so keep the main stock uh, spices which you going to need uh, in handy like this and these are garam masalas it has cloves cinnamon i also have uh, ca- i also have cardamom which can be used in plow or sometimes in tea black pepper cloves everything uh, it's mixed in this so i'm not uh, removing it ah cinnamon all the spices in one take many of them are in the spice box the rest are in the stock and uh, these are the garam masala which i was talking about another thing is your medicines whichever you need you must bring so i have podin hara crocin i have podin hara crocin bolo plus some bandage as bolo plus is for multi purpose for cut and burn so i carry it so make sure you get it because here you are not going to find it and even if you find it it will be much more high price i didn't came with 100% cash cash half of the money was there in the in this forex card so this was very helpful as it's visa so it's easy for shopping buying groceries at lotus big c macros uh sorry not macros and uh, other places where visa is accepted so i loaded up with thai bars and uh, before coming i and this was the cheapest there are other banking options also which you can try i compared this one was the cheapest it charged me 250 rupees it charged me 250 rupees and uh, it was delivered 
at my address or I had to go nearby to collect it. So it's very useful and I am still using it. The validity is good and uh, but uh, depending upon your visa type you can recharge it only once not again and again. So mine at that time was tourist visa and now do I cannot recharge it again so it has some thigh bath based on the currency you get good rates and you can use it all over the country. In the beginning of the video I said I'll be dividing it into two parts optional and non-optional so this is the non-optional part and if you don't want you can skip it and as if you want the optional part it's there in the timestamp below so coming back to the optional part which I brought and it was very helpful so I will share my experience with you and uh, here we go ready to eat food I ordered this before coming I know it contains preservatives and is not 100% healthy but sometimes it's very time saving when you don't have time to cook so I came up with few of the gifts ready made dal palak paneer paneer tikka and MTR foods also which I have so it's good you just have to open it in the microwave or you, if you don't have it there are options which is mentioned how to use it it's easy just cut it and have it it's good for lunch or dinner so you can get the same or similar taste which you get at home tea if you are a tea lover mostly most of the indians do so i prefer to bought my own tea first is the tata tea which i use premium and these are some tea bags tetley uh, when you go to office or stuff so there are coffees available most of the time in bangkok or everywhere in thailand people prefer to have coffee so like tea bags are helpful you just have to dip them and whichever you want so you can use them keep in stock it will be used to you some other other day if tea is not available you can buy also here it was approximately 30 baht for 100 grams so that's why i prefer to bring it if you're going to wash clothes old desi style then you need the soap bath detergent because here it's all liquids which they put in the washing machine or the powder but uh, if you want to wash clothes with your hands so definitely you need to bring them because here it's not much available and wherever indian grocery store you'll find it it will be very much expensive so i prefer to bring it so it's up to you you want to bring it or you want to use the washing machine to wash your clothes it's totally up to you if you like to iron your clothes so like also at the laundry you can do it but laundries are much more expensive like uh, last time i asked was 20 or 30 baht per shot so i prefer to purchase uh, iron on my own from here and uh, it's not that expensive you can also buy it from here and it's electrolux i think it's a japanese product so most of the japanese products electronic items are good so it's up to you whichever you want sharp electronic or electrolux uh, it stays long and uh, it doesn't take much space in your bag so it's good if you bring it or you can buy it from here if you prefer to iron clothes on your own or else it's going to be expensive per cloth if you prefer to do it to the laundry for washing also and uh, ironing also later on these were the main options which i thought i would like to share with you guys uh, i'm not sure which was going to be helpful to you maybe or maybe not if i have forgotten something which you guys would like to share do comment and let me know and it will be helpful for other people too or experts you can call who are coming from india to bangkok for work or anywhere else in thailand so this was my experience where i have shared the video into two parts uh, essentials uh, sorry com the compulsory optional and non optional sorry you can look at for the timestamp and uh, thank you for watching the whole video and uh, let me know the feedback if i have missed something see you guys in the next video good luck